Oh, there you are! It's me, Logan! Don't freak out, but I'm an otter now. Weird, huh? I need some kelp. I mean, help. Actually, some kelp might come in handy, too. I've had lots of practice staying calm under pressure, which is probably why I'm not more freaked out right now. Either that, or I'm in deep denial. Huh. Should I be calling my therapist? So, am I as cute as my pictures? Cuter? Would you go so far as to call me an otter? <laughs> at least I was a big hit at our fundraiser. Man, forget washboard abs. I got us way more donations looking like this. Can't say I've ever been into yoga, but this upward facing otter pose I learned is crazy relaxing. I love animals. Never thought I'd be one. On the bright side, I think I understand my furry friends a bit better now. The desire for food and head pats is a lot stronger than I would have guessed. Were you trying to tickle me just now? Cause I gotta be honest with you, I barely felt it. This fur is crazy dense. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got some extra money burning a hole in your pocket? What's with all the gifts? Sorry about all the weird looks. I didn't know it was so unacceptable to bring your own utensils to a restaurant. So I hear you can break this curse with the power of friendship or something? I'm not gonna pretend I understand that, but hey, I trust you. I guess this means we ought to stick together for the next little while, huh? <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm nervous. Want to help me pick out a special rock? My instincts are telling me I need one for opening up mussels, scallops, and cans of soup. Do you spend much time at the gym? If you're looking for a spotter, I'm available. I could be your spotter otter. One thing's for sure, I've got this year's Polar Plunge for Charity event totally in the bag. Thanks to my new coat of insulating fur. Hang on, is that cheating? Uh, I don't want to be dishonorable about it. This sure isn't how I pictured this meeting. I mean, I was hoping to impress you with my muscles. Any chance you're into strong, rudder-like tails? Talk to me. What are you into? Cards? Podcasts? Competitive square dancing? I actually like two of those three things, but I'll let you figure out which ones they are. Why did the otter stop lifting weights? Because he pulled a muscle! <laughs> Kidding. It's actually because I can't reach that card swiper thing that lets me into my gym. Aw, this is nice. It doesn't look super waterproof though, so I'd better keep it at the station. I had an amazing time. The water was incredible. When we go again, will you at least dip your toes in? For me... I gotta be honest, I'm feeling a little crabby today. No, no, I don't mean crabby like I'm in a bad mood. I mean crabby like I want to eat some crab. Hey, thanks for treating me so normal even though I'm an otter right now. And if for some reason I'm stuck being an otter, I'll still count myself lucky. Because I'll have you as a friend. What are you doing tomorrow? Want to make some waves at the beach with me? Whew. Wow, that was terrifying. I thought I was going to slip right out from under that safety bar. Next time, let's bring some fall protection, okay? Were you trying to tickle me just now? Because I gotta be honest with you, I barely felt it. This fur is crazy dense. I took a look in the mirror this morning. Still utterly adorable. <sighs> We're not making a whole lot of progress, huh? Hey, I get it. It's tough work trying to break a bunch of curses all the time. Don't burn yourself out. Okay? Whew! Hey, I just spent 4 minutes and 39 seconds swimming underwater. 
You're like a breath of fresh air right now. And I mean that in more ways than one. When I was a rookie with the fire department, they made me spend my whole first day stirring the water tank. You know, to keep the water fresh. Too bad it was all a joke. That's a job I could totally ace right now. I feel like the world is my oyster, and quite shrimply, it's all thanks to you. Side note, are you hungry? Because I sure clam. <sighs> Maybe I'm not cut out to be an otter. I've been hunting all day and I'm still starving. Any chance we could swing by the drive-thru for some sushi? My treat! Where's the ocean deepest? At the bottom! <laughs> yeah, that was lame. But it made you smile, right? Huh? Huh? Whoa. I was swimming in the bay earlier and I nearly got caught in an abandoned fishing net. Someone should really clean up our oceans. And who better than us? Come on, let's grab some garbage bags and get cleaning. This article about otters says that we are equally attractive day and night. <laughs> oh, no, wait. It says active, not attractive. Darn. Those animatronics are terrifying. I swear one of them came right at me. Thank goodness I had my flashlight to scare it off. I'm really, really enjoying spending time with you. That's a good sign, right? What happens next? Oh, you want to plan a kiss on me? Sure, just give me a few minutes to rub my cheeks. I gotta look good for you. Okay, I'm ready. You really think this will turn me back into... me? Check it out! I'm halfway human again! I wonder if my toes are still webbed. Could you investigate for me? I'm kinda scared to look. Being a firefighter isn't all about putting out fires. One time we had to rescue a guy who'd gotten his head stuck in a microwave. He said it was for Cloud on his YouTube channel, but he didn't even film it. I am so happy to have my normal equipment back. The fire hose, the sandbags, the... Nope, that super TMI and I'm just gonna clam up now. How'd you get so good at this? Making me like you, I mean. Forget catching fish. I'm over here catching feels. My foster dog is having puppies! I better find homes quick. I'm gonna want to keep them all! I already share my bed with three dogs, four cats, and a ferret. Gotta save room for someone special. Oof. This tail makes it almost impossible to get my bunker gear on, let alone do it in under two minutes. Let's cross our fingers for a slow day at the fire hall. I'd love to have you over for dinner. Fair warning, I'm not the best cook. Actually, I use a meal prep service. Any chance you're especially impressed by convenience? <laughs> yeah, I've been working out. And yeah, you can climb me like a ladder if you want. Ugh, night shifts are pretty boring. Me and the crew usually play poker or watch a movie. But maybe next time, you and I could text? That'll definitely make the time fly, because talking to you is so fun. <laughs> Oh man, did I just giggle? I reckon my awesome tough guy image! <laughs> What's this? Oh wow! Why so generous? I'm not complaining, I'm just amazed! I definitely have a newfound appreciation for seafood. Those were some good eats. Oh, but the best part of the meal by far was having someone special to share my favorite dishes with. Uh, 
I was having a rough day, but then I saw your smile and it was like the clouds parted or something. <laughs> you probably hear that all the time with a smile like yours. I just hope it means a little bit more, maybe, coming from me. Hey, have you replaced your smoke alarm batteries recently? I can swap them out for you, if you like. Aww, you shouldn't have. But you did, because you're such a thoughtful person. Thank you. Those ducklings were crazy sweet. But still, they had nothing on you. Thanks for today. I loved every second of it, and I can't wait to go again. Man, I still can't shake this constant urge to rub my face. It's making me hyper aware of my 5 o'clock shadow. I'm supposed to be clean shaven for work, but it grows so darn fast. You don't mind a little bit of scruff now and then, do you? Do you have any fun plans for the weekend? Because I've got a whole two days off in a row, and I'd love to spend them with you. Wow, that was wild. Usually heights don't bother me, but at speeds like that? I almost feel like I should be writing an incident report. I was thinking, your house is pretty big and uh, you should really get an automatic sprinkler system installed. I don't mean to be preachy, I just want you to be safe, cause I care about you, in case you didn't know. Do I make you happy? That's really the only thing I want. Ah, there's no thrill like the thrill of driving the fire truck at top speed with the lights and sirens blaring. <laughs> eh, at least there wasn't, until I discovered the thrill of kissing you. You, babe, are too hot to handle. Seriously, you're a straight-up fire hazard. In my professional opinion, you should sleep next to a firefighter. You know, for safety. My last attempt at a relationship ended when my date surprised me with a candlelit picnic in the park. I just couldn't be with someone who'd have an open flame in the middle of a wooded area like that, you know? I'm an only child, but my crew are like my family. Ay, and they've been teasing me non-stop about my new flame. It's no big deal. Someday when they find love, they'll get it. Let's spend a romantic evening in. We'll order a deep dish pizza, get some drinks going, and review your personal fire safety plan. <laughs> Ooh, babe. You're really adding fuel to the flames here. Whoa! This is so nice! I feel like I hit the jackpot! Woo! You okay? There's nothing scarier than a carnival ride that's not up to code. I mean, there weren't nearly enough emergency exits on that thing. I gotta make some calls. Gosh. When you look at me like that, it's everything. The whole world fades away. The building could be on fire, and I wouldn't even notice. Okay, I'd probably notice. And I'd definitely do something about it, but that doesn't sound very romantic, and, uh... I'm trying to tell you how much I love you here. I love you. I'm not sure I'll ever fully understand the whole magical transformation thing, so all I'll say is this. It's been a weird ride, and I wouldn't change a second of it. Not for anything. Love, Logan. So how does it feel to be dating an emergency responder? Fast-paced and exciting? Dangerous and hot? <laughs> oh gosh, it's not upsetting and overwhelming, is it? I could spend forever dancing with you. When we're dancing, I have everything I've ever needed, right here in my arms. Every day, I think, this is the best day of my life. 
Then the next morning, I'm like, no, this is the best day of my life. I guess with you by my side, things just keep getting better and better. I seriously can't wait to see where all this happiness takes us. So how does it feel to be dating an emergency responder? Fast-paced and exciting? Dangerous and hot? <laughs> oh gosh, it's not upsetting and overwhelming, is it? You wanna know what I love? Those little spicy heart candies. They taste like fire. And they make me think of you. I'd fight a dragon for you. Get the crew together, roll the fire engine out, hose that puppy down. Easy peasy. I hope you know I'll always have your back. Gosh, how did you get to be so perfect? If this is a dream, I hope I never wake up. I look at you and I know I found my perfect match. Nothing could ever extinguish this love. Nothing. You're too sweet and perfect for this world. All I want to do is shelter you inside my arms. Hold you and kiss you and keep you safe. I've got great friends, good health, and you by my side. Man, life is good. Any chance you'd want to take a nap with me? I've been working a lot of night shifts lately, and it's starting to catch up. But I just can't get enough of being with you. There's something really important I want to ask you. Like, really, really important. Are you prepared? <sighs> okay, here goes nothing. Would you... like to go for a ride along in my fire truck? I got a great deal on a bulk pack of flameless candles today. They're battery operated. Don't be surprised if you come home tonight to find a super romantic, super safe, candlelit dinner waiting for you. All the people you love are so lucky to have you in their lives. For me, I've got to be the luckiest one of all. Let's visit a farm this fall. We'll drink hot apple cider, take selfies in front of the autumn leaves, and then pick a pumpkin to carve. I have a nice dull set of plastic knives just for the task. No way. No way! I've been wanting this for ages! Babe, you're the best, for real! Fire and rescue was always my passion. Before you, I didn't even know there was room in this big, dumb heart of mine for anything else. Thanks for teaching me how much love I really have to give. You were the first thing on my mind when I woke up this afternoon. I don't normally sleep so late, but I'm on night shifts right now. I still get weak in the knees whenever you call me a hero. But real talk? You saved me. That makes you the hero. I'm terrible at starting conversations. You want to take the lead on this one, babe? Oh, babe, no. This is way too much. Okay, I really love it, though. Seriously, thanks a million. Holy smokes! When did you have time to pick this up? It's perfect. Oh, <laughs> you caught me Myron. Did you do something different today? You're looking like even more of a smoke show than usual. Ah, these boxers are the best. They fit great, feel great, and they're thematically appropriate. I've actually never felt so well put together. <laughs> Not another tickle attack! <laughs> oh, oh, I know! I'll stop, drop, and roll out of reach! <laughs> Still slick like an otter. <laughs> Woo! I promise to keep the home fires burning, and to keep the fires from burning the home. <laughs> okay, it's time to start fighting fire with fire. You better run, cause I'm gonna get ya! This is so cozy. The tag does say, warning flammable though, which is a bit concerning. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, aren't you a firecracker? <laughs> Cracker. <laughs> the mask might hide my face, but it can never hide the truth. You light up my life in the best way. <laughs> okay, it's time to start fighting fire with fire. You better run, cause I'm gonna get ya! Okay, so it's not very original. I just happen to have all the pieces for a perfect sexy fireman outfit laying around. And you have to admit, I look smoking hot. <laughs> not another tickle attack! <laughs> Oh, oh, I know. I'll stop, drop, and roll out of reach. <laughs> if this isn't beach weather, I don't know what is. Come on, let's go float around in the water for a bit. We'll hold hands so we don't drift apart. <laughs> oh, oh, well, aren't you a firecracker? <laughs> There you are. I was beginning to get worried I wouldn't see you today. Wow, I just overheard that guy dissing first responders. Man, if he ever needs help in an emergency, and I'm on the scene, I'm gonna render aid just like I would for anyone else, because that's how I roll. <laughs> Treadmills get you nowhere. I like to run outside, at night, in rough neighborhoods. The fear of being murdered really gets my heart rate up. Hey. I miss you when you're not around. I was doing my regular weekly test of my smoke alarms. And get this. Some of the wires were disconnected. I have no idea how that happened, but thank goodness I checked. Nope. Don't like the looks of him. That mug has arsonist written all over it. Is that dude following us? Do you know him? Look, I'm not much of a fighter. But if he's making you uncomfortable... He's gonna catch these hands. Just saying. I found a pile of burnt matches on my pillow. Almost like someone was trying to light my bed on fire. <sighs> Thank goodness I bought those flame retardant sheets. <laughs> <laughs>